In this lesson, I'll show you how to integrate by algebraic substitution. This is question one. Technically, expressions containing radicals are usually harder to integrate than those that do not. So what we'll be doing in this section is learning how to remove all radicals and fractional exponents from an expression by a suitable algebraic substitution. The first thing that I want to do to integrate this function is change all radicals into exponential form. In other words, change the square root of x into x to the power of half. And similarly, the fourth root of x to the power of 3 into x to the power of 3 over 4. Let's go ahead and do that. We have the integral for x to the power of half over 1 plus x to the power of 3 over 4 dx. The next thing that I want to do is find a common denominator for this half and this 3 over 4. So I'll write that down. 1 over 2 and 3 over 4. What is the common denominator for these two? The common denominator is 4. So I'll write down CD is equal to 4. Now that I've found my common denominator, I'll set x to the power of a quarter. This 4 corresponds to this 4 in the denominator. And I'll set this equal to another letter. Let's call it z. My next step is to solve for x. And I can do that by powering both sides to 4. So if I power this side by 4 and this side by 4, I end up with x is equal to z to the power of 4. So I'll substitute every one of my x's with z to the power of 4. And here's what I get. I end up with the integral of z to the power of 4 to the power of half. We use a power raised to a power in the exponent laws, and that gives us z to the power of 2. And if I substitute z to the power of 4 into here, I end up with 1 plus z to the power of 3. Now in case you still can't see it, let's say we had x to the power of half. And substituting z to the power of 4 into here gives us z to the power of 4 to the power of half. Multiplying 4 times half gives us z to the power of 2. Now we still have a problem because this integrand was formally in terms of x and we were integrating with respect to x but now it's in terms of z. So what I have to do is find an alternative to dx and the way I can do that is taking the derivative of this equation with respect to z. If I do that I end up with dx over dz is equal to 4z to the power of 3. I use the power rule and I'll isolate for dx by multiplying both sides by dz. That gives me dx is equal to 4z to the power of 3 dz. And I'll substitute that in place of dx, giving me 4z to the power of 3 dz. And I'll put that in brackets. My next step is to multiply this with that. And by doing that, I can take out this 4 outside of the integral, where I have 4 times the integral of z to the power of 5 over 1 plus z to the power of 3 dz. What I have here is an improper fraction. Notice that this term has a higher degree than the one at the bottom. So what I have to do is perform long division. And if I perform long division, this will become my divisor. So I have 1 plus z to the power of 3. And my dividend will be the numerator, z to the power of 5. It's probably been a while since you've done this sort of math technique, long division for polynomials. So if you are having trouble following along from here, I do have a lesson on this. Anyway, what I do now is I'll divide z to the power of 5 by z to the power of 3. That gives me z to the power of 2. Then I multiply z to the power of 2 to both of these terms. And that gives me z to the power of, and I'll multiply this one first. I can rearrange this as I wish. I'll end up with z to the power of 5. And z to the power of 2 times 1 gives me z to the power of 2. Now with long division, you subtract after this step. Subtracting this term with this term gives me 0. That's good. And subtracting 0 from negative z to the power of 2 gives me negative z to the power of 2. This is my remainder. And this is my quotient. So now I can break this down. I'll show my work over here. Now I can break this down into 4 times the integral of my quotient, which is z to the power of 2, 
minus z to the power of two, my remainder, over one plus z to the power of three, dz. Next, what I'll do is I'll take the integral of these terms individually. I'll need to do a substitution here, but this one is easy. z to the power of two becomes z to the power of three over three. You just increase this by one, and whatever the sum is, you put it underneath. And don't forget the four that's on the outside. And over here, like I said, I need to do a substitution. So I'll set u is equal to one plus z to the power of three. Taking the derivative with respect to z, I end up with du is equal to three z to the power of two dz, where I end up with, I'll rewrite some of this, z to the power of two over u. And now solving for dz, I end up with du over three z squared. This will cancel out with this. I can pull out the third. I don't need to worry about that. Giving me four times z to the power of three. And remember, z was set to x to the power of a quarter. So I can bring that back now that I've integrated. I have x to the power of three over four over three. And I'll pull out this third times the integral of one over u du. This is a common integral that you should remember from now on. And in case you don't know it, it's one over u becomes ln absolute of u plus c. So I'll use that rule where I have four times x to the power of three over four over three minus a third ln u, which was set to one plus z to the power of three, one plus z to the power of three. But instead of z to the power of three, I'll replace it with x to the power of a quarter times power of three is three over four. And don't forget your arbitrary constant c. So what you can do from here is multiply this four into these two terms and you are done. And so there you have it. That is how to integrate by algebraic substitution. Make sure to watch question two, where we focus on expressions containing fractional powers of a binomial.